Why do we have so many different ways to take pictures of people's heads? Well, they're all used for different things and I'm gonna explain what. First, the x-ray fires beams of radiation from one point, which are mainly stopped by bone and then collected on a detector. Where there's lots of x-rays, it'll be black and where there's less, it would be white. That's why it's mainly useful for identifying breaks in bone. A CT is like an x-ray, but fired from multiple points to give more detail. This is fast and great to pick up internal injuries, mid to large sized cancers and vascular disorders like stroke here. An MRI first uses a strong magnetic force to align our protons and then sends a radio pulse to move them out of alignment. Then as those protons relax, they send radio frequency signals back, which can be detected and turned into an image. These give more detail in the soft tissue. An MRA is an adjusted MRI with contrast that can look at blood vessels and find balloons in them which can be ticking time bombs. PET scans use radioactive traces to look for metabolic activity and small cancers.